that's happening right now is highly unusual. In fact, it's the first time in 100 years that a party's choice for House Speaker has not been elected on the first ballot. The turmoil on Capitol Hill putting a deep divide in the Republican Party on full display. And in doing so, the Democrats' choice for House Speaker has actually been getting more votes. So Hakeem Jeffries, Democrat from Brooklyn, has been outpacing Kevin McCarthy in several of the ballots. That's because around 20 Republicans are rebelling against their party to vote for somebody else. In the first ballot, former Long Island Congressman Lee Zeldin actually received a vote, even though he will not be a member of this incoming Congress. So we spoke with a political strategist about all this. This is someone who mostly works with Republicans. He's confident the stalemate will eventually end, though he's not sure how that's going to happen. There's really only a few alternatives here. One is that the Republicans can compromise and coalesce behind one candidate, whether that's Kevin McCarthy or somebody else remains to be seen, you know, or it has to be a bipartisan deal. And under a bipartisan deal, sure, it could be a moderate Republican. More likely, it would be a moderate Republican. But you never know. It could be Jeffries, too. It's, it's possible. I'm not, it's, it's, it's not probable, but it's possible. And keep in mind, until a House Speaker is chosen, none of the incoming members of Congress can be sworn in. That includes the newly elected members from Long Island. All of them have been voting for McCarthy. Kevin VC News 12, Long Island.